Hello folks, I am Ed Overstreet and welcome to the Night Sky Imaging YouTube channel. Um, I did a video, I don't remember when it was, but I got a comment that um, I never shared my screen, which means I talked about removing magenta stars for however long the video lasted and uh, never shared the screen showing how I did it. Well, I decided I would delete that video and redo it. And uh, since I did that video, I've picked up another uh, script that I'll share with you that I think works just as good, if not better. But I'll show you the two ways that uh, I use to remove magenta stars. And let's head over there and take a look at Picked Inside. <music> an image that I took back in January of 2022 and um, I have uh, I've just now taken this to the nonlinear state I just ran the histogram transformation so no longer is this linear and um, so far all that's been done to the image is that uh, I used the uh, show palette I mapped uh, the sulfur to red and the hydrogen alpha to the green channel. And of course, it was rich in hydrogen alpha, and then O to the uh, to the blue channel. And if you look at the uh, HA channel, it's just got a lot of information when compared to the uh, say O3 channel, which has very little. And I'm thinking the S2 haven't seen it in the since January, but I'm thinking it had a little more, and it does, but not a lot. So this was predominantly a hydrogen alpha rich area, and uh, so consequently, when I mapped it to the green channel, you're getting what you expect, just a lot of green. But one of the spin-offs of that is you get a lot of magenta stars, so I'm going to zoom up, and this is a good area right here. I'm just going to show you how magenta, even the background, carries with it a good bit of magenta uh, to it as well. And one of these methods I'm going to show you will remove the uh, magenta from the stars, but it also dumbs down the background, the the red, reds in the or magentas in the background. And I'm not so sure I entirely like that as much. The other one will not do that. It's just uh, specifically removing the magenta halos from your stars. So let me show you both of these and uh, we'll take a look. This is the first one. It involves uh, a pixel math expression uh, for the red channel, for the green channel, and for the blue channel. And uh, you can... Uh, pause this video and copy those expressions or you can send me an email and I'll add my email address uh, to this YouTube video and I will send you the process icon and you can add it to your own. In fact, I can send you all of my process icons should you want those and in that will be uh, both scripts uh, for removing magenta stars. Okay, well, let's go ahead and apply that to this image. And what we're going to get is an entirely new image. Uh, this one won't be changed, but the new image will be. So let's close that. And uh, let's um, take this new image that's just been created without the stars. And let's put it right here. And let's zoom up. And you can see that uh, these stars have been. Let's look here. Because it not only has removed the magenta stars, but it's caused kind of a botchiness in the red around here. So that pixel math attempt at a distance. They're gone and it looks fine, but when you zoom up uh, 
800 um, percent, then it's not so it, it's not so uh, appetizing. I don't know. Of course, no one looks at your image at 700 percent or 800 percent, but uh, we are. And so, uh, so if I take this and apply this over here, and we compare the two. This is the same star as this star. And so uh, the magenta has been removed, but so has this background been um, been affected. And it's been affected pretty uh, sizably. So let's eliminate this one. And um, let's take this over here to uh, get a, a similar area to compare. And let's bring out this script and let's apply it it takes a little longer because these are drizzled images and they're twice the size and they take twice the time to process all right uh, already I can tell you I like the background a lot better but the magenta's gone and so the stars um, still have color still have the yellows are yellows the blues are blues but the magenta are no longer magenta and your image overall pretty much has been unaffected with the exception that the stars have had the magenta coloring removed so i'm going to uh, let's uh, zoom up here and let's zoom up here and let's apply that and move this right over on top of it and um, can I toggle back and forth yeah I'm toggling back and forth between the one this is with magenta without magenta with without with without so it's pretty impressive now you have to download this script and to do so uh, you need to go to not this website. This will show you how to install it, but you'll need to go to uh, bookmarked it. Um, this website, and it's actually much too long for you to pause and try to recreate. So I'm going to post a link to this video, and uh, you can read how this script was created with Roberto Satori, who's the uh, primary uh, creator of PixInsight, and he collaborated with uh, uh, Legilio, Italian, Legilio in Italiano. Uh, that's as good as I can do, folks. But you'll go down here and click on here, and this will uh, allow you to download the script. And then I would suggest going over to PixSight official site and uh, it will show you how you can uh, install it. So with that being said, um, uh, I guess that's pretty much it. I hope everybody has clear skies, a super rest of the day, and I will catch you on the next video. And hopefully this clears up how to remove magenta stars from your narrowband images.